Good morning guys, welcome back to the vlogs and boy do I have a lot to fill you guys in on. Uh, first stop, train to get to the airport for this next trip. Yes, I'm going away, as you can see I've got the coat on. The Randy vlog trip coat is back. Long story short, I missed my flight, as you can probably guess from last night's footage and last night's antics. Went back to the What's Good Podcast studio to try and fix all the corrupt files and stuff and then obviously left at like 4am, went back to my flat, the flight was at 7.35, so I didn't really have any time. I should have gone straight there. Went to my flat to get my clothes, to, to pack and stuff. Put my head, or rest of my head for two minutes. Next minute, it's 10 a.m. and I missed my flight. <laughs> the good news is we're on the way to the airport anyway, so yes, we are going away. The trip is not over. I will give you more details as we go, but ah, life's tough at the minute, man. I can't lie. I'm going through it. I'm, I'm going through it. Here we go, here we go, here we go. My knee absolutely batters. It hurts so much. For those who missed yesterday's vlog, I fell on it last night. A drunken fall, not a good idea, a very bad idea, but um, here we are, Liverpool Street once more. Those who have been watching regularly for these vlogs will know this is like our sanctuary now at this point. This place here is a uh, Randy Vlog heritage, because from here we get to the airport and that means a trip. Let's go. I can't believe it, I think I'm going to miss another flight. It's actually insane, the trains are all messed up and delayed, so yeah. I, have, I can't believe it. I'm on a different train right now because the other one was, was gone, it's cancelled. There's no uh, lines from Liverpool Street to the to Heathrow, so it's great. The train's not even moving. It's literally not even going anywhere at all. I have like the smallest chance of actually getting this flight, but it means I need to get this train moving right now. And this is not, so I feel like it's ripped in the bin. There's two flights missed now. I've never missed a flight in my life before this, by the way, ever. All right, it's moving, it's moving. We have hope. No, we don't. We have no hope. There's no way. Zero chance. Alright, here we go. There's actually no way. There's no way. My knee is battered as well. Absolutely battered. Sorry. Alright, Heathrow Express, where's that? Where's that? Slightly good news. I'm going to make this train here. This train, the Heathrow Express, I will make that. So that's some good news, I think. Platform 11, where's platform 11? Is that it? Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Here we go, here we go. I made this one at least. That's not even it, by the way. That's not even it. Platform 6 and 7, man, I'm on 11. Fuming. What, what, what am I doing? I'm never like this. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, so I'm on this one. This one takes like 15, 20 minutes. I get to the throw at 1.15 and my flight's at 1.55. That should be fine. Again, this train's not even moving. I think it was meant to leave like two minutes ago. And I also try to check in on my phone on the app and I can't check in, so I have to go to a desk. I literally have. Oh god. I've not even told you guys why I missed the first flight yet. But it's coming, don't worry, the story is coming. First priority though is to get to Emergency driver speaking, apologies for the slight delay in our departure. We're just being held on the platform until our route out of the station clears. We should be on the move shortly. However, if there are any problems, I'll get back to you. Just like to reassure you, I'll get us to the airport as quickly and safely as possible. Thank you. My flight is 1.55. Okay, there we go. We move in. Mic charging. Unfortunately, it looks as though our journey is going to be a little bit slower than anticipated. They're doing a much slower train in front of us. The train was supposed to arrive seven minutes ago. It's still not there. Um, Hi, here we go. There's literally no way though. There's literally no way. All right, so after rushing, after getting on every train and getting all this way, the verdict is I missed the flight. Yeah, missed it. Got to the front of the desk and they were like, oh, it's annoying because like, they told me it's closed now. So it's not taken off yet. It's still boarding, but like I can't go through security because it's too late. But I know for a fact that if, I've got fast track to security. I know that if I got a boarding pass or if I was able to check in online, I would have gone through and I would have made it, if that makes sense. But anyway, we've rebooked on a new flight, so I've paid more money to go to Milan now again. So yeah, I'm gonna go and give you the full rundown in a minute. I'm gonna get through before I miss another flight. <laughs> I've got an hour and 20 now to get through and everything else. But yeah, I'm gonna go through uh, and re, just, what's the, what's the word? Readjust and kind of reset, you know? Anyway, going through security now, I've got to put all the phones away anyway, but goodness me that irony as well that security was so empty completely empty no one there all right time for some food goodness me goodness me and now i'll talk to you guys we made it 
We got ginger ale, diet coke, food. Here's the airport, here's the plane. She got a knife and fork as well for the pasta, but it's annoying because also I was expecting to get here into the lounge and they'd be like, uh, breakfast, scrambled eggs, sausage and stuff. I'm so, I'm so used to flying them. Every flight I've been on in the last forever, it's always morning. Um, so that's a shame, but it's fine. Um, <laughs> I just got, I'm just laughing, man. I'm just laughing. You gotta laugh, what a day. What a day, right, let me, I mean, you, you saw the video from yesterday, but I'm gonna tell you this sort of story. Let me eat and then. Story time, where am I going? Why did I miss my flights? And what is going on? So, my flight was at 7.30 a.m. Saturday, which is today, this morning. And late yesterday, as you know, we filmed the first podcast episode for the new set with KSI. A big episode, it's all, you know, great, great, great. The footage was corrupt. We had to work on that, but then also to celebrate the whole week and the first episode, John and I went to Pendulum with Josh and some of the other boys um, at the O2. And then we went out afterwards and I stayed out a little bit too late and had a little bit too much to drink. Um, my flight was 7.30, I got back to my place at 4 a.m. after going back to the What's Good Studio to try and fix the files. And I put my head on my pillow for two minutes. Before that, I thought, oh, put your alarm on for two minutes or put a timer on. Wait, did I? I feel like I did put a timer on. No, I did put a timer on. Anyway, next minute, I wake up, it, it, it's sunny. I'm like, what's going on? And it's 10 a.m., so I missed my flight. And I've never missed my flight before. I've never missed a flight ever, other than, like, not intending to go on it, if that makes sense. Like, if I've had a flight and I'm like, oh, plans changed, but I've never actually tried to go to one and missed it. Um, and it's frustrating because I had such a long week. And this morning I was finished, I was so emotional. I was like, having a little mini breakdown. I didn't even film it. I didn't even film anything this morning because I've been waiting so long to go on a trip or this trip. Everything kept getting pushed back because of the podcast that getting pushed back and other things. And the vlogs have been so bad this last week. It's been just like 10 minutes of me, nothing. It's been nothing. And I know you guys are like, oh, you know, don't care what you post. The views are dropping as well because they're not interesting videos and it's not interesting for me even to film. So I know you guys say, oh, I'll film anything, but it's just not even, I'm not, I'm not even enjoying the content, you know, this last week. So I'm like, okay, let's go away, get this video done, let's go away, get the vlogs filmed and also film some main channel stuff and have a great solo trip. And I missed it because of my own fault and I was fuming and I was upset. So the plan was to fly to Milan, um, then go from Milan to all the different cities and then fly back from Naples, okay, that was the idea. So I thought, you know what, instead of going from Milan, let's just fly to Bologna, which is close to Florence anyway. So I did that and obviously the trains were all messed up as well. The trains closed and you saw the rest of it and now we're here. Missed two flights, 24 hours. And now I've got a new one. It's boarding right now. <laughs> Imagine if I miss this one. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Look at that, man. So close. They just made an announcement saying that the plane's got a fault to it and they don't know when they're going to get us on. If this flight or plane gets cancelled. Alright, we made it on a plane. <laughs> let's go. There we go, third time's a charm. We have arrived in Italy. <laughs> it's 7 p.m. right now. I have no hotel booked or no car or anything like that. So I'm just gonna go and wing it and do it on the go. No, I'm feeling man, I've just used this toilet and like when I move, like while sat down on it, it's detected the flush and it's flushed and gone like balls of soaked. What a day this is man. Car picked up, that's the first job done. Uh, 300 pounds. Not too bad, I would say, for Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Hmm, not bad, £100 a day. What a little bit of adventure, guys, boys and girls. I like it when, uh, I don't know, when you're away, I just feel different energy for the vlog, you know? I want to film more, I feel comfortable filming more. It's weird, it's so weird. I don't really know what that is all about, but in London, even today, on the way to the... Okay, she said P1, and she said you have to walk to get to P2. Ah, blue lines, blue arrows, sorry. There we go. Yeah, e even in... England, on the train, on the way, people just staring at me, like, it's annoying. Like, I, I get like, oh, I'm filming, so someone will glance over, but they just, like, I, I'm filming like this, and I can just see, like, literally not even feel, see, like, so many eyes just staring at me, you know? It's weird, man. It's weird. <laughs> like, I, and I am, I don't mind filming out in public, but when they do that, it makes me feel uncomfortable, you know? Cause it makes, and then I just feel like, because they're British, they're gonna judge. In America, the one time someone was looking at me like that, they came over and they was like, oh, what's your channel, what, what, what do you do? And it was nice. <laughs> Whereas in England, you're just getting judged. I mean, the tube and the trains in England are crazy enough anyway, because everyone's so grumpy, but yeah. Anyway, I got a Peugeot 3008, 3008. You don't say 30, 
Ooh. Look at those neon lights. Is that a fun fair or something? We're going on an adventure, guys, which is cool. And we're here to film some main channel content, so hopefully both go pretty well. I'm weeing it. I'm definitely weeing it, but let's see how it goes. There's the boot. Okay, okay. I kind of like it in America where they just say, oh, just go pick one. <laughs> because you can then go and hunt for USB-C. I do need to check whether... Yeah, I do need to... Hmm. Oh, no button to close it? What is this? <laughs> 1992. I'm praying for USB-C though, let's see, let's see. I'm not gonna lie, not only am I not seeing any USB-C, I'm not seeing any USB anything. We've got a car play. Am I picky? Am I quite picky? Oh, I forgot my mount. Oh, I've got my car mount. These are definitely questions that I should ask when I'm there, man. Like, does it have USB-C? Does it have Apple CarPlay? But I just assumed it would. Hmm, what do I do? What do I do? I'm gonna ask the Kofi guys. Link in the description. You can always join, guys. And now it's raining. What a day. Honestly, we literally landed in a thunderstorm. <laughs> it was so funny. Like, I, you saw the weather in England as well. When I was, like, before we set off, look at, look at the plane footage, like, the, the footage I filmed of the window. It's so sunny in London. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna roll with it, man. I'm just gonna roll with it. I've got a USB power bank. I'll try and plug that into the wall every night. I do need to... It is absolutely pissing it down, man. Honestly, it's just one thing after another for me right now. I'm not, I'm not even trying to sound like a complainer. And because it's like, it's not that bad, it, but it's just like funny. It's just funny, these things. I'm trying to find this. How is there no charging in this car? It's okay. I've got a power bank, like I said. I use that. My first goal is going to go to like a petrol station or something to get a car mount and a... I guess, well, they have this thing, you know, the, the well, I was gonna call it the cigarette lighter thingy. I could get one of those that converts to USB. Oh my God, this car's so old. Look how crusty it is. All right, I need a plan because my plan's changed now because I was meant to be driving to Florence today. So I'm trying to figure out, do I drive to Florence now or do I, any USB on the ceiling? Do I drive to Florence now or do I go hotel in Milan? Let me, let me, let me do some chat GPT in because uh, honestly, plan out the whole trip and I'll get back to you guys and show you. All right, I found the first pizza spot. It's called Spontini. I'm gonna head there now. That'll be the intro of the video or the start of the video where I go to the first place, obviously. Uh, it's a bit annoying that I, I don't have, yeah, no Apple CarPlay and also uh, the navigation in the car doesn't seem to work either. So I can't really, oh no, it does actually. We're parked now. I've just done the drive. I did pretty well actually. I think I do, well so far, I've only been here like, what, 10 minutes. I prefer the driving in America versus Italy or Europe so far, but I've actually never driven in Europe. That Spontini is exactly where I need to go. I'm gonna do the thumbnail in the car right now and do a little bit of research on this place uh, so I can, you know, obviously I'm gonna do a lot of voiceover for the main channel video, but I wanna do some research on it and see kind of like, you know, anything that I can say in the video in the live like speaking part. So I'm gonna do that now. And then, uh, yeah, we'll get going. And I think I'm gonna drive to Florence tonight, which is a bit stupid. I, my, my other flight, so that, you know how I missed the first flight this morning? The other flight was gonna go to Bologna, or, or Bologna, 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 Bologna uh, however you say that. Because like, then I'm halfway from Milan to Florence anyway, but it's a, it's a long drive, it's like a four hour drive. So yeah, I'm probably just gonna do it tonight, just get it out of the way, and then rise and shine tomorrow in Florence. I have been to Florence before with the boys, Simon and Josh and Con actually. But it just said that it doesn't, like stuff doesn't open until afternoon, which is good, it gives me a bit of in the morning but also I do want to kind of get to Rome as well I'm thinking about trying to squeeze another main channel video in like uh, Vatican City you know like the, the small country thingy so uh, I'm gonna try that but uh, anyway like, let's get some research done and get a thumbnail made okay this is where we're at it's like a nice little park or car park area and then there's like yeah just trees very cool very very cool I'm not sure how to do the parking also my phone's on its last legs I've got a power bank obviously there's a car by the way pretty decent you know although that parking, Randy, you should have pulled up a bit more. I should pull up more, right? I think this is cool, by the way, like doing this kind of concept of filming where I do the vlogs and then I come and do main channel stuff as well. I can still show you this in the vlog. It's not like I can't. Um, even though a lot of you will watch the main channel and a lot of you are the same audience, I think it's still different stories and different pacing and stuff. So, yeah. Nice, you get your little cutlery here as well. Yeah, this place right here, guys, Spontini. This was absolutely amazing. The place was so sick. This is exciting me, man. I feel good. I feel rejuvenated again, you know? These trips, man, we get out here and we just... Oh, man, let's just, let's just go. Let's take a minute, man. Let's take a minute. Guys, the Randolph vlogs, the Randy vlogs, Uncle Randy, this is what it's all about, man. I'm so blessed that I can do this, obviously, first and foremost. I could have done it way more affordable. I could have... I mean, this is for main channel. I'm doing these trips to obviously try and grow my career and, and earn some money as well, but um, <laughs> today's been frustrating. Two... 
three flights purchased for no, absolutely no reason. My own fault, of course. Uh, my own fault. It just is. I'm not gonna get my juices going because it sounds really weird, but it gets my like creative juices flowing. You know, like I just feel I feel good doing this. And I hope the venture video comes out nice as well. Oh wow, that piece was so good. I'm, I'm literally, <laughs> I'm stuffed. All right, let's get in the car. I think I'm gonna go to Florence. Let me get a hotel booked, get to Florence, and then we continue in the morning. Um, I'm still vlogging though. I need to find a place to go and get the phone stuff. You know, the uh, phone charger and the mount as well. Hotel booked. It is a two hour 51 drive to Florence. That's my idea. My idea is to go to Florence, rest the night, and then wake up tomorrow in Florence. With the sun shining, and then hopefully from there, do my thing in ASAP, then go to Rome, then do my thing in Rome, and go to Naples for the final day and the final uh, challenge. A big video, a lot of driving. But I'm gonna set off now, get driving, hopefully get a podcast on, try and connect my phone somehow. And, and most importantly, I'm gonna finish off this pizza. Sorry, got a little bit too excited there. Oh my goodness me! There's a USB, let's go! Do I have? I only have USB C to USB C. Let me check my bag. Bro, I just dropped my phone for so long. I dropped my phone in the car. Hello. And uh, I couldn't find it. I literally have been searching the car for like fifth, well, 10 minutes now. And I found it. Anyway, what I was trying to say to you guys is, I had no cable. So I don't have, annoyingly, any cables that fit. However, I found the Whoop charger. Would you guys believe it? The Whoop charger, USB-C to USB, it works. Okay, so there you go. I plug my phone into there and it should work with Apple CarPlay. Obviously, I can't show you because the cable's so small, but let's go. And let's make our way to the hotel, finally. And I'm gonna eat that pizza. Oh, goodness gracious me, man. I'm on the drive right now. I just stopped uh, at a petrol station to get some... Well, I wanna get some... I'm so thirsty, but apparently... Well, I think it's closed. Like, you can get gas on petrol, but you can't actually, I guess, buy drinks. It's the actual things that open. But the rain is crazy. Like, obviously, that's not much, but on the drive, it's been absolutely insane. The lightning has been going crazy as well, like huge, strong flashes. Honestly, the biggest rainfall I've seen in a long, a long time. Maybe since Amman, where we went with Freezy and, and Chip and G Film. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go and check if I can get some drinks from here. There's a coffee vendor machine, which is coffee. Natural water. Yeah, no. Vending machine. Oh, I'm so thirsty. Anyway, drive's going good. I think I've got like maybe. I actually don't know. Uh, if I just take my phone off the navigation, one sec. I still have an hour and 40 to go. Anyway, I'm gonna get to it. Hopefully, there's more places to stop. I'll check. Fingers crossed. All right, take two. It's closed again. It fell over. Actually, Hello. 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 All right, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get. What's the energy drink? I don't want that. Are they all energy drinks? Zero. But that's not an energy drink, right? that's just normal. I'm just get water. Get water. Seems like a good idea. I'm not gonna get any snacks, but obviously I want to see what they have. Pringles. Ooh, every, every other country seems to have like different Pringles. It's like they have their own version of it. Cheetos. Cheeto. Oh, Tuck. I love Tuck. Tuck goes so hard. Oreos, of course. Milka. Milka is so good. I had some in uh, Turkey a lot when I used to go <laughs> with Laura and stuff. Um, okay, give me a drink. Oh, well, I get like ready meals. I can heat a little croissant up. Oh no, I dropped my croissant. Success, got my drinks, and also on the way out, I saw this, so I went back and got it. A cable and a long one at that as well. So, yeah, back on the road. I'm so thirsty that this feels like good, good content. That was not good content, but I enjoyed it. <laughs> All right, onward and upwards. Okay, it's just so stupid. For some reason, the cable charges and it connects, but it doesn't let you use Apple CarPlay. Like, what kind of Mickey Mouse cable is this? Well, that is stupid. What an absolute waste of money. Back to the Whoop cable, I guess. All right, here we are. Just arrived at the hotel, the Hotel Eni. Uh, all checked in. I have to go and park the car because the car park's like a different place. But apparently, I can get there. Or I can get to my room from the car park, which is kind of cool. I got very, very lost. I literally went out of the entire like estate where the hotel is. Had to do a massive U-turn to like five, 10 minutes, but I'm here now. Uh, yeah, cool. It's kind of like a downstairs like garage where you park the car, but it feels like hard to get out. Like, it feels like if you're gonna park here, you park here for good, you know, but I'm leaving tomorrow, obviously to get out and about and continue the, uh, continue the trip in Italy for the vlogs and for the main channel. Ooh, loads of Randy's, loads of Randy's. 
Ooh. Okay, what room am I? Okay. Why did I do this? Why would I do that? Why put this number with the number getting bigger that way? But then I guess it's because. Okay, I get it, I get it. Wait, no, I don't get it. Them signs do my head in. Every hotel. Oh, hey. Every hotel I go to annoys me, I don't know. It's crazy what you hear at night when you uh, walk the corridors of hotels. 106. All right, here we go. Live room tour, people. Live room tour. Oh my god. Wait, when they said twin beds. Nah, when it said twin beds, I thought it was. Oh. That is what twin means. I've been to so many hotels where it's like there's two double beds, and I just assumed in my weird, hungover, tired state that I've been in this entire day that it meant two double beds. <sighs> That's fine. That's fine. You can't even push them together because they're like stuck on the wall. Oh well, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine, it's just one night. It's not like it was cheap though either. It wasn't a cheap hotel. But anyways, here we are guys. Probably a good point to end the vlogs, right? We've got a big advantage tomorrow. Uh, another long drive, another couple pizza spots, and also just checking out Florence and checking out Italy. Yeah, I, I enjoy it, it's nice being out. Ooh, water, this one's on us. Yeah, it better be after this bed situation. But yeah, take care guys, love you all, and peace.